Hey credit warriors, welcome to the show. Now the hobby of credit card travel hacking has given me numerous amazing experiences worth over $50,000 in free travel over the past few years, but it doesn't always go as planned. I want to talk about mistakes that I have made in the credit card game specifically with American Express. In some cases, these mistakes have caused annoyance and in some other cases, they've even cost me hundreds of dollars. I want to share them all with you in this video so that you you don't make the same mistakes as I did. This is my worst five Amex credit card mistakes. And this video is brought to you by Max Rewards, but more on that later. Number one, getting a low bonus on the gold card. So if you don't know, when you sign up for an American Express card, the bonus you see publicly available on their website is more often than not, not the only bonus available. As an example of that, let's look at the Amex Platinum. If you search it on Google right now, you get offered 100,000 points. Well, if I go to resi.com, which is a dining website owned by Amex, and I look at their special offers for US card members, I can get 100,000 points plus 10 points per dollar on dining for the first six months. Or if I use a browser that I've never visited Amex's site with before, I get offered what is described as a great welcome offer, 125,000 points. Often higher offers are also available through referral links. And that is what happened back in 2018. The Amex gold card had just been refreshed with four points per dollar on supermarkets and dining. It was a very exciting card at the time. Now the public welcome bonus was 25,000 points but through a referral link, you could actually get 50,000 and the person who referred you got a reward as well. But foolishly, since I was so excited about the new revamped card, I just went ahead and applied as soon as I woke up on the day of the launch without checking any blogs or websites to find out about the best bonus. So I got 25,000 points. But my wife came up to me immediately afterwards and showed me a referral offer for 50,000 points. I actually made a video about it at the time, telling the story and hanging my head in shame. If I had just used my wife's referral link, I would have got 50,000 and she would have earned some points too. Turns out at the time, 50,000 was also available if you downloaded a new browser that you'd never used before, incognito mode probably would also work for that as well. And that was described as a special launch offer. So that is a lesson for me and all of you. Never take Amex welcome bonuses at face value. Instead, always check referrals, incognito mode, or a brand new browser, as well as resi.com and check out blogs and YouTubers for any other ways that you can get a higher bonus. There's almost always a higher bonus available than the public offer. Number two, forgetting to carry the physical Amex Platinum card. So Plaza Premium Lounges are one of the airport lounge programs that some credit cards have access to. These are really good lounges with good food and are better than most priority pass lounges. But unlike with priority pass, there's no separate card for these lounges. You just have to show your physical credit card. And in this case, it's the Amex Platinum. When I tried to access the Plaza Premium Lounge at London Heathrow Airport, I did a stupid thing. But we did a very stupid thing and forgot our Amex Platinum in our check-in luggage. In the end, I just paid for day passes and the staff felt sorry for me, so they gave our family a 25% discount. But that is a lesson for you. You do need the physical Amex Platinum card to get into the Plaza Premium Lounge, or at least you did then. Maybe some things have changed now. Could you get away with Apple Pay? I'm not sure. But who puts their credit card in their check baggage anyway? It was my wife's card. I didn't have it at the time, so it's actually my wife that did that, not me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but my wife has made a mistake. Yeah, does it count as my mistake? I'm not sure. All right, let's now move on to number three. But before we do, if you want all your Amex offers activated for you automatically so you never miss a deal, you have to check out the sponsor of today's video, Max Rewards. The pro version, Max Rewards Gold, does just that. So you'll have like 100 or more Amex offers activated on your card, and you may even use an offer without realizing it and come home to a very pleasant email. Like this one, where I got $10 back when I bought my cat at PetSmart. And this one, where I got $20 back when I bought an umbrella insurance policy. And when you activate all your Amex offers, new offers appear in your account that you never knew existed and Max Rewards activates them too. Now, Max Rewards does have a load of free features as well, like pooling data from all your credit cards in one place, so you can see your transactions, your balances, your points and rewards balances for every card in your wallet from different banks all in one app. 
There are features like the card value tool where it shows you how much value you've got out of all the points and redemption of credits in the year versus the annual fee. So you can decide if a card is worth it for you. So you could try the free version if you like too. But if you want to try Max Rewards Gold, you get a seven day free trial with my link below. And if you use the code HEDGES24, when you sign up, you'll get a three month discount on the annual plan if you decide to keep it past the free trial. Number three, not checking the Centurion Lounge was open. This is one that happened towards the tail end of the pandemic when all Centurion lounges had been closed for many months. I took a trip to Las Vegas and the surrounding area, which was really great experience. It didn't even feel like COVID was still a thing, but there were still restrictions at the airport and on planes. I checked if the Centurion lounge was open towards the beginning of my trip and it said that it was closed. But the Amex Global Lounge Collection website is very accurate and updates in real time with information on opening times. And during my trip, the lounge actually opened. I had no idea since I didn't check the website, so I went to some crappy priority pass lounge called The Club. But if I just checked the Global Lounge collection, I would have known that it was open. And if you go to Lounge Buddy, which is a website that Amex owns, you can actually get even more in-depth info telling you not only if it's open or not, but also how busy the Centurion Lounge is too. So this could help you decide whether to come to the airport a bit early to use the lounge or not bother. Anyway, I made the mistake and missed out so you don't have to. The Lounge Buddy app has been discontinued now for some reason, but you can still use Lounge Buddy via the website on a desktop computer or on your mobile phone's mobile browser. Number four, booking a hotel collection hotel for just one night. So the Amex Platinum card gives you a $200 credit for two hotel collections, all right? The fine hotels and resorts collection and another one that's just called the hotel collection. Very imaginative name, I know. Now these collections give you a load of benefits like late checkout, free breakfast, a room upgrade, a hundred dollar credit typically for food and room service and things like that. And then on top of all that, the credit card, the Amex Platinum gives you a statement credit when you book. With the Fine Hotels and Resorts Collection or FHR, you can just stay one night and get all the benefits and the $200 statement credit back on your card. But for the Hotel Collection or HC, you need to stay two nights for any of these benefits and the statement credit. Problem is, if you search fine hotels and resorts collection on Google, it comes up with a page that gives you both collections, all right, FHR and HC. And when you search on that page, hotels from both collections appear in the search results. So in this search for Washington DC, you can see we have the Conrad, which is FHR, and the Fairmont, which is HC. Thus, for the inexperienced, and I was inexperienced at the time, it's easy to just book a hotel on there thinking that it's in FHR, but it's actually in HC. And that is exactly what I did booking the W Hotel in Washington DC a few years ago. It's actually not in either HC or FHR anymore, but it was back then in just in the hotel collection. And I booked just one night thinking that it was an FHR hotel and I would be getting $200 back and a load of benefits and I got nothing. And I ended up with the most crappy room with the windows looking out into the dark well of the building, no view whatsoever. But then the funny thing was that the next day I actually decided to change my reservation and stay another night in DC because I decided I needed more time there. So I, in theory, could then get the benefits for that two night booking, but it only counts if it is a prepaid two night consecutive stay. And since one night had already been prepaid for, and now I was adding another night and paying for it in a separate transaction, there was no way to get two nights in one transaction anymore, apart from perhaps using a time machine and going back in time to tell my former self that I would actually probably prefer two nights at the W instead of just one. Okay, that's a little too far back in time. But anyway, guys, I've taken the hit for you so that you don't have to. If you book the hotel collection, do make sure it is two nights. And if you're searching for FHR, make sure the hotel that you choose really is in FHR on the Amex Travel Search tool. Since on the Amex Travel Search tool, they're all mixed together. You can click this box to isolate FHR if you want. That mistake cost me at least $400 in tangible benefits since I missed the $200 hotel credit and the $100 credit at the hotel for food. And I would have got free breakfast for two, which is probably gonna be about $50 per person. So that's another hundred on top of that. And then on top of that, I would have got a room upgrade and probably a few other things like early check-in, late check-out, which you can't really put a price on them, but that's even more benefit that I missed out on. All right, let's now look at our final Amex mistake. And this is a big one. Number five, forgetting about the Amex Business Platinum airline rebate. 
So this one also cost me several hundred dollars. Actually, this is probably the most expensive Amex mistake I've ever made. And that's why I kept it till last. And that is not making use of the points rebate feature on the Business Platinum and transferring my points to Delta to book my trip to Hawaii instead. So if you don't know, on the Amex Business Platinum, there is a 35% airline bonus. And what this means is that when you book a flight with points through the Amex travel portal, on any airline if you're in first and business class or on your chosen airline if you're in economy okay and your chosen or your selected airline is the same one you selected for the airline credit that you get on the card you get 35% of those points that you just used rebated back to you in your account now I only really got the business platinum for the bonus all right I was targeted with 150,000 points I just got it I was like woo 150,000 yay <laughs> and I've since canceled it. But at the time I had the business platinum, I'd selected Delta as my airline since I wanted to use that $200 airline credit for the Delta Sky Club at LAX, which is where I was transferring or where I was planning to transfer planes on my way to Hawaii. And thus I was obviously planning to fly on Delta to Hawaii, all right? Cause you have to be flying Delta to get into the Sky Club. So foolishly forgetting all about the 35% bonus being a thing, I transferred 220,000 out of the 300,000 Amex points that I had over to Delta and I booked a flight in economy for my family of four for 220,000 points plus $44.80 in taxes. The cash price was pretty much exactly $2,700. So if we deduct the taxes, that's gonna be $2,655.20 and then we divide by the number of points, 220,000, we get 1.2 cents per point in value very, very average. But if I had paid through the Amex travel portal directly with points, it would have been initially 270,000 points, which I did have. Remember I had 300,000 points. Okay, so with this, you have to have the full amount of points first, but then I would have got 35% of those points back, which works out at 94,500 points returned to me. So I only would have spent 175,000 points, which is 45,000 points less and I wouldn't have paid the $44.80 in taxes and fees since it's a travel portal redemption, the taxes are all included. Even if we assign a value of 1.1 cents per point, which is what I would have got if I cashed them out through the Charles Schwab Platinum, that would have been $495 in value. And then there would be $44.80 in taxes that I would have paid, which takes us up to $539.80 in value that I missed out on. So I would have been at least $500 richer and I would have got around 1.5 cents in value per point. Again, guys, I took the hit, so you don't have to. If you have the Business Platinum, make sure you look at Amex Travel as a redemption option if you are booking economy on your selected airline. If you are booking business class, it'll most likely still make more sense to transfer to a partner, but in economy, you get the value of around 1.5 cents per point. And normally that is going to beat the rate if you transfer on most airlines in their economy class, like you saw in my example. All right, guys, that is the video for you today. If you're interested in any Amex cards, do check out my credit card guide below. These are, of course, affiliate links. They do help us out. So if you like our content and you want to support us in some way, consider using our links, all right? It's at no extra cost to you. Just check the bonus that you're offered is competitive with what you find on Amex's website. Also, don't forget to get a free trial of Max Rewards Gold and a three-month discount with the code HEDGES24 if you continue after your free trial. Get that in the link below. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.